Hello friends, my name is Jose and you're watching Microbeats channel. This time I will show you one of my apps. Uh, this app is made for monitor values of uh, six analog channels. Also you can uh, monitor digital values but I will uh, be showing that in another uh, episode and you can have a data log you can change uh, the background of this graphic uh, from white to black and take a snap of this picture you can uh, auto log for one second every value so you can have in the root now let's check the blocks as you can see the program is not small but is like a medium program most of these uh, code lines are repeated because uh, it treats the signal that comes from the bluetooth and i would like to explain in depth the functionality of all of these blocks but this is an overview of the analog value taken and displaying on the tablet also you will have this uh, program in the description below and now let's check the arduino program in this part i only wrote the code for the analog signals it is very simple i just set the third port to 9600 and i uploaded each value separated by comma here this app only can take 15 uh, values and the last one is with a new line uh, code also you need to have a delay uh, like 100 200 milliseconds because if you don't do this the app can crash the other values that I took I just put zero on it and I will be explaining these other values later but the important part is already done okay, my friends let's check out our hardware configuration here we have an Arduino Mega and the is this is one uh, generic model is very good I love how it works and never gives me any trouble uh, and here we have the Bluetooth adapter this Bluetooth have a logic level of 3.3 volts so you need to be careful with that in the reception pin you need to have this uh, resistor plug in like I am showing in the screen because you can damage your adapter if you send out a TTL signal of 5 volts this is very important but you can receive from the adapter 3.3 volts of its logical level here we have a potentiometer connected to the 0 and 5 volts of my Arduino board and in the analog 8 channel this channel is um, not my favorite but I don't want to use the, the from 0 because I want to show you that you can aim to whatever channel you want okay friends now the next thing that we need to do is to synchronize our bluetooth adapter with the uh, tablet how would you do that we need to go to the configuration is this little gear that you see here we go to the bluetooth configuration and we turn it on oh it was really fast uh, actually you're going to get the MAC address here and the MAC address is the uh, an address that comes uh, by, de by default uh, but uh, is different for every uh, device but actually you can also get the name of the adapter which is HC06 so you go click here and then you're going to need the code which is one two three four and then you go accept 
Now you have uh, synchronized the Bluetooth adapter with the tablet. That doesn't mean that it's connected, but it's the device have permission to communicate with the tablet. So we have installed our applications. We are going to open it like this. And the main screen will show up. How do you uh, connect with the device? Uh, previously, we synchronized the device with the tablet. Now you can see it in this application. How you can see it? You press select a device and it will show up the MAC address and the name of the device. Then you click it and you need to go here and push connect. Once you do that, all of the values that you have here at the left will start to refresh. That's how we connect to the device. I will talk about a little bit of the features that this app has. Here we have uh, the six analog channels that we're going to test right now. And actually we're going to test one, the other ones work as well, but we're going to test just this one, the zero. Here we have value, frequency, and I square C. Uh, these values we're going to talk later. Right now we're going to uh, pay attention only for the, these six uh, analog values. But actually we have digital inputs and we can do many things here. What can we do? We can start a data log here with this button and he will ask me if you, uh, you will you allow this uh, app to and you would say yes and it will create a uh, CSV uh, file in the root of the uh, main storage of this uh, tablet you can also change the background you can put it white like this or black so you can watch your value change also you can start a data log because if you started here you can start the data log here and he will take this data uh, every second if you want to watch the values of the others uh, channels uh, in this uh, graph you need to push this button right here of the current value if I go back to this one, it will start again. Okay, now let's check it out how the potentiometer works with the graph. If you pull it up, the graph goes up. And if you pull it down or counterclockwise, you're going down. If you see when you reach the edge, you will restart another um, graph but it doesn't mean that you can save that because remember I have an auto log here and also if you have uh, an initial uh, behavior of the signal you can uh, have a snap and it will be safe in the storage folder now let's go up and a little bit down more down down to zero and there it is and now let's go up to 100 there it is now let's check it out if the uh, snap was saved so let's check it out where the snapshot was saved we go to file manager we go to images and close this and you'll see this one is the last one you see and we have the snapshot of the current value or the current value that time all right guys thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing and take care